When it comes to feeding our aquarium fish, most of us are using some type of fish food from a company that's a pre-made food. So usually it's a pellet or a flake or a granule, something like that. I happen to love the food from Extreme, as a lot of you know, and I have a lot of it, a lot. This is only a little bit. I have more and more, oh God, and more. And there's like probably twice as much over there on my shelf. Now, as much as I love those foods and I use them probably 95% of the time in addition to a couple frozen foods, every once in a while, I do like to give my fish a treat and uh, give them some different types of food for a balanced diet. Today, I thought I would take you guys on a journey and talk a little bit about that. So yes, we're doing something a little bit different today. I thought it'd be fun to get out of the house and do a quick little field trip. Uh, we're actually at the grocery store. I'm going to, and I say we, because I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm at the grocery store. You're probably at home or something watching this, but we're doing this together. So we're at the grocery store. We're going to go in and buy some food. I've got to do grocery shopping anyway, and thought it would be fun to make a video and show you how you can buy food for your crane fish at the grocery store. Now it is a little bit early in the morning. I am a little bit tired, tired looking maybe, but uh, I did have some coffee today. So I uh, perked up a little bit. And I normally don't drink coffee. So if you want to hear the whole coffee story, stay till the very end and we'll talk about coffee. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go on into the store. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store. I got a bunch of groceries here and I'm gonna go through them real quickly and show you uh, what they're for or tell you what they're for, what they are, talk about what they are. And then um, I'll probably do some um, some B-roll to show you uh, me feeding feeding the fish and preparing some of this food. So um, first off, we have uh, some green beans here. Um, these are just some uh, canned green beans. These ones happen to be organic. Um, and basically what you wanna do is when you buy these, you want to look at the ingredients and try to get something that doesn't have a whole lot of additives. So in this one, them being organic, we've got uh, organic green beans, uh, water, and sea salt. So nothing, there's no preservatives or anything in this particular can of green beans. Um, you can use other green beans, just uh, just obviously the better quality you buy, uh, you know, the better the better they are. Um, these are good for uh, like fish that like to graze on. Um, uh, you know, vegetable matter or plant matter, algae, etc. So plecos will like these a lot. Um, you know, autosynclus, uh, other other um, uh, kind of bottom dwelling fish that tend to graze on algae and and the vegetables, as well as any of your uh, plant eating uh, cichlids, like your ambuna, as an example. They will gobble these up very readily. Next, I got a zucchini here. It's quite a large zucchini. No jokes, please. But anyway, this is a large zucchini that. Uh, um, I've made videos about these before and, and I've kind of shown you some cool DIY recipes that you can do with these. But basically what you'll do is you'll peel these, uh, slice these into slices and blanch them, which means to just quickly, uh, like part boil, like boil them for a very short amount of time just to soften them up. And a lot of fish will eat these. Your African cichlids will eat these. Uh, your, some of your, a lot of your plecos will eat these. Again, some of those other fish that I mentioned that will eat the green beans will eat this as well. Um, I actually will also feed this to my koi fish and my goldfish as well. So they will uh, eat these up as they would with the green beans. Next, this is something that you probably, depending on where you live, you may or may not find this at your local grocery store. Me being in San Francisco, uh, pretty much any grocery store is going to have this. This is seaweed. It's just straight uh, seaweed. Um, again, when you look at the ingredients, this just is seaweed. There's no other additives in this one. Um, it's just a roasted seaweed. Um, then there's lots of different types uh, and brands out there. Um, if you don't have this at your local grocery store, then maybe go to your local Asian uh, grocery mart and they most likely will carry these. This ha happens to be the kind that you would use for sushi. Um, this is loved by African cichlids and uh, they will just tear this up. Now, if you also have saltwater fish, 
Um, a lot of your um, vegetable or algae eating saltwater fish will eat these as well. So um, just a, another kind of cool veg vegetarian uh, food available to a lot of your fish. Okay, keeping along in that same kind of, uh, you know, general idea as far as uh, vegetables for your fish, um, spinach is another fish food or f vegetable that I will feed to my fish. Um, what I found in my personal experience is that uh, mostly my uh, goldfish, my koi fish, and my uh, mbuna will eat the spinach. I haven't seen plecos eating this very much, um, although if you do have like a leaf, uh, and if the leaf, you know, gets uh, full of water, saturated essentially, or it's blanched and sinks to the bottom, they will munch on it. But they usually prefer some of those harder vegetables that I showed you earlier. But um, again, you can do frozen spinach, you can do a canned spinach if you want, if there's not a lot of additives. You can do a fresh organic spinach, so um, lots of options there. Uh, keeping along, this is probably a food that's very common if you'll hear people talking about uh, vegetables for their fish, um, and that's peas, just, just green peas, just a little round green peas. Um, I happen to, uh, I'll boil these in water uh, just for a short amount of time, just to soften them up a little bit and to make them sink. Um, if you don't, then they'll float. Uh, again, African cichlids will love these, koi fish will love these, goldfish will love these. And the other good thing about these is sometimes if you have a fish that uh, might be a little bit constipated, and if you notice that they're not passing their waist, um, this is an option that you might want to look into. Uh, there is protein in pea. You've probably heard of pea protein before. Um, and it will also help in um, giving some dietary fibers to those fish to be able to allow them to pass uh, their waste if they are backed up a little bit. So um, overall, a, a good uh, option for feeding your fish. Okay, so we've talked a lot about vegetables, obviously, and, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now we're going to talk about some of the fish that are pescivores. So pescivore is a fish that will eat other fish. Um, and this is just raw shrimp. Um, you could do cooked shrimp, I guess, but uh, my experience is that the raw sh shrimp is more readily uh, eaten by most fish. And basically all you'll do is you'll just thaw and serve, thaw and cut up and serve. So um, some of your larger cichlids will eat these, obviously your peacocks, your haps will eat these, uh, your Oscars, Central South American cichlids, any kind of predatory fish will eat these very happily. And in that same uh, category, we have uh, some cod fillets here, and I also have some bay scallops. Now, I understand that these foods are not inexpensive, um, so I'm not saying that you should be feeding your fish any of these foods necessarily all the time. Um, it's more so as a treat every now and then, or if you want to give a varied diet. I, for one, mostly do um, either, uh, you know, freeze-dried foods or, or prepared foods like flake foods and pellet foods. But every once in a while, I will uh, kind of do something different and give them a little bit of a treat here. So um, if you do have a fish that, you know, might be a picky eater, or if you have a fish that... Uh, yeah, a little bit um, maybe underweight and you're trying to get it to eat more, things like that. These are some options that you can look at. No need to cook these. Um, and same thing with the cod fillets. You could just, uh, and this is a lot, right? So you're not going to give a pound of, of um, cod fillets. You can just take one of these. They're individually packaged, thaw it out, and uh, maybe cut up half of it for your fish and then eat the rest for lunch or something. So uh, I'm actually going to have some cod for lunch with some vegetables and rice which is part of my uh, bodybuilding diet. So anyway, these are just some foods that I got that uh, I can eat, my family can eat, and so can my fish. I, I just wanna say that I know that uh, some of the foods that I bought uh, today at the grocery store um, were not inexpensive, right? So I don't expect people to buy this for their fish all the time, in fact. All those foods that I bought are foods that I eat for myself. So um, all the fish, the scallops, the shrimp, uh, the produce, all that stuff is food that I will eat myself. In fact, the only thing that I bought today that I'm not gonna eat for myself um, is that one zucchini. Uh, I don't love zucchini anyway, but I, I just bought that one for the fish and uh, the canned green beans. So everything else that I bought today will be consumed by me or my family um, and I'll give some of it to the fish. So if I bought, you know, a pound worth of fish, we'll eat nine and a half pounds of it, you know, during lunch and dinner or whatever, and they'll, over the next couple of weeks, get a little bit of that. So anyway, just want to put that out there. I don't p expect people to go out and, you know, 
spend a lot of money on fish food, obviously, um, but it might be nice every once in a while to experiment and give your your fish something different as a trial um, and uh, see how they take to it. If you guys feed any kind of unconventional foods to your fish, meaning like, you know, things that you wouldn't necessarily think of as fish food. If you do any of that for your fish, please comment down below. I would love to read what you guys are feeding your fish in addition to normal fish food. Now, if you made it this far, either you love this video, you love my channel, or you wanna know about coffee. So I told you I would talk about coffee at the end. Um, so I enjoy the coffee flavor, the smells of coffee. Um, it's never something that I've really like, would, you know, drank much of in the past. In fact, I probably, would have coffee like once every couple of months, like a cup of coffee. Like if I was traveling on the East Coast, it was early in the morning, I had a meeting or something, I would have a cup of coffee. But I wasn't one of those people that had to have like a cup of coffee every day. In fact, um, it just wasn't something that I needed. And uh, recently I thought, well, maybe I should, you know, try it again and maybe it might be kind of a fun morning ritual. But I also went to the doctor a while ago and uh, it was a new doctor, new health plan, and um, we're, was talking about you know, my, my eating program and my weightlifting and you know, what I'm consuming and kind of all the supplements that I take. I don't take very many supplements. And we talked about pre-workout. And he suggested that maybe I try just drinking coffee instead of the pre-workout, uh, since the pre-workout is mostly caffeine anyway. And uh, so I thought, well, what the heck? I love the smell of coffee and you know, not that big of a deal. I had to go out and buy myself a French press and a grinder and all that stuff because I didn't want like a coffee machine that you like hit the button and it drips and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to do something different and manual and no, no, nothing to plug in. So anyway, so now I am going to be a coffee drinker, I guess, or every once in a while, either before a workout or sometimes in the morning. So anyway, if you like coffee, comment down below if you like coffee. Let me know what kind of coffee you like. Uh, anyway, that's all I had for now. If you made it this far, then thank you very much. I know it's kind of a crazy video, but we'll catch you on the next one. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store. Up oh, there's my little dog there. You can see him trying to see what I am doing with all the food here. But anyway, we're back from the grocery store. Captain, go away. Can you, I, go see Taylor. Yes. Hi.